Hello everyone, this is Bahman. In this video, uh, we are gonna render uh, fire and uh, fire sparks together with Redshift. So, we are gonna use a sphere as our fire source. I'm gonna use the Phonic Safety preset for fire. Just checking the parameters, size, 100 10 and here I'm going to change it to volume inject power 10 it's good the container setting I'm going to change the scene scale to 2 rest of them are ok just dynamic cooling is good just I'm gonna keep with the classic vorticity everything is good just uh, as you remember in previous uh, video we used to save as a VDB and import it in Redshift directly but this time uh, because uh, we are gonna use it uh, as a advection source so we can add the sparks later I'm gonna just save it as a default format of Phonix. I'm gonna just save it in the drive. Name of fire. Phonix FT default format. And channels, I'm gonna save temperature, smoke, and velocity. So everything is okay. Now I'm going to simulate it and then we will continue. So now the simulation is done and next step is to convert the Phonix default format to VDB format. If you just press Windows button plus R, you will have the run window. And if you just uh, type in CMD and here you can just uh, run the converter tool that comes with the Phonix and it's in the Phonix folder in your uh, which version of Max you are using I'm here copying the address and in here if I just see the control V and the command is like uh, cache underline converter dot exam that source file which is I saved it in C drive in sim folder name fire underline because it's sequence so we have to put four and it's default format of the phonics so it's a u r space dash destination file which uh, an address uh, which i'm gonna save in the same folder which is gonna be c in the name of I don't know out underline four digits dot VDP and next is dash start space zero space dash and space 200 and enter so it's gonna take a while to converting the old frames so when it's done i will be back so now the converting is done if we go to redshift and bring our volume grid and load our cache that we saved I will align it to our phonics 
source and now we can just hide our phonics we don't need it anymore so next we have to assign the shader and before that we have to just change it to redshift and bringing the material editor choosing the shader redshift volume shader and assigning so uh, here we are, we are rendering fire uh, we are not going to see that much smoke in our render but for uh, working properly the shader needs to have also the smoke channel so because if you don't input here it's not going to render your fire and in emission we are going to just put our temperature and uh, so now if we just hit render and uh, if i just put it in interactive so as you can see it's just the uh, box white box the reason is we have to uh, set up the minimum and maximum so uh, in the emission part if we just put 1200 and in max 2000 so as you can see now we have our fire i'm just gonna the hottest um, part of the fire i'm gonna keep it white or a bit yellowish and if i just add another one and make it orange and i'm gonna add another one and make it black and putting it around here good so just if i just increase this one to five and i forgot to disable rendering our sphere so as you can see here we have the fire and uh, if you just play with this ramp you can have your own color range and it would be good to go so as you can see we are not seeing a smoke but if you don't input a smoke channel you are gonna lose the whole fire so in that case you have to just input the smoke channel yeah, so as you can see we have the fire now we can have the particles if we just unhide the phonics and hide the grid bring the particle system putting just a particle flow system and replacing it with the phonics nodes when you install phonics ft you will have these nodes also phonics earth with the normal one and phonics force is necessary we don't need a speed rotation and i'm gonna deactivate the particle system because it's very uh, heavy calculation it's gonna be very uh, slow here we have to assign the phonics then in phonics force again we have to assign it so we will start zero and till 200 rate five is enough we just need temperature channel so we do not use the smoke as we change in the shader we have to put the minimum here 1200 and the maximum 
2000 the maximum amount of particle that's gonna be make it's gonna be in the middle almost 1500 and here so this is enough and uh, next we are gonna change the shape of the particle to a sphere size gonna be one centimeter variation and now we have to assign the material so I'm gonna assign the redshift candison and we need the delete node and life tree and variation of two it's enough last thing is to change the type to geometry so we can see and render particles before we activate the particle system we have to because it's very heavy that uh, calculation so it would be better if we add the cache and save all those frames and then we are ready to render the particles and fire and this is it so i hope you like this uh, tutorial if you had any question just leave me comments and thank you for watching